Good morning and welcome in. I am the Canadian trucker Rudy and I am here with Diego. I'm trucker's Rudy's son. Well, thank you guys for joining my channel and stay tuned for the rest of my day. Good morning everyone. We are fixing to leave this truck stop now. And mile marker 38 here in Minnesota. Yeah. Now we're gonna try and get to St. Paul, Minnesota ASAP. Looks like it's going to be a gorgeous, gorgeous day out here today again. Let's see how long we can, or how long it's going to take us to uh, to get there. Take the entrance to the right on I ninety four East. Looks like it's not much of a wind going on today either. That's perfect. Just the way we like it. Yep. Yeah. So let's put the hammer down and have ourselves an awesome day. Bison, where are you going today? area <laughs> on I-94 eastbound and it is traffic traffic heavy traffic here right now I don't understand why it's like 1237 right now but I guess as soon as they close one lane it goes down to three lanes and heavy traffic right away yeah. That's the way it goes, I guess. Traffic, traffic, traffic. Got about five miles to go to our delivery place, and really hoping I can get there before five, uh, one o'clock, because they wanted me to be there at one o'clock. So, really hoping I can make her. We'll see, I guess. Look at this, guys. Just past this overpass. We got St. Paul, Minnesota. We will let this truck come in here. Because we got to take this exit right here. St. Joseph Hospital. Yeah, this looks like a really old area already. At least according to the buildings, it looks really old. But beautiful at the same time. Alrighty guys, we finish loading. We are on our way to Brampton, Ontario now. Yep. We are making our way down there. Let's 
left for sure. Turn left on New Armstrong Boulevard. I actually didn't even take that long to get loaded. About an hour, a little bit over an hour, I guess. And we was done loading. Yeah. Let's see. Yes, we'll have to continue this way the way RJ wants me to go. Yeah, it's nice and green down here, that's for sure. Summer is definitely here. That's good. That's the way we like it. In a I don't know what line, they're doing up right here, up. but Lexington Avenue they're South. doing some CR kind of training, it looks like. Anyways, let's get all the uh, Minneapolis and hopefully the, the traffic won't be too bad on the 494. Lexington Avenue South, CR 43. All right, RJ, you lead the way, you lead the way. You tell me where to go, my friend. I think it's time for me to have a pit stop in here. At the exit 143, Tomaha, or whatever they call it. We got a, a quick trip in here. I think I'm gonna go pull me in here and have me a chicken alfredo. Yes, I love that stuff. I haven't had anything to eat all day, so hey, it's about time I do have something to eat. Yeah. It's been a busy day for me. From the time I got up, I just basically have to put the hammer down and just give her. Get my load delivered and then hurry up and go over to my reload location. Luckily, we got ourselves reloaded. And now we've been driving for a couple of hours, so now it's time for a pit stop. Give me a good bite to eat. I don't know if I'll continue on from here yet or not, but my plan would be, or my, you know, I would love to uh, continue on driving for a little bit further yet. It'll be easier for me tomorrow, but we'll see. Anyways, let's go in here and have ourselves a bite to eat, and we'll be back. Here we go. We had ourselves a mom needed meal as I said earlier we were going to have the chicken alfredo and we did yes of course we did now it's time to put the hammer down and try and get as far as I can I don't know how far I'll actually go tonight yet I haven't quite decided yet I was thinking Portage uh, Wisconsin earlier but We'll see. We'll see how far I get. If all of a sudden decide to go further, I might go further. <laughs> you never know. Oh well, we'll see anyways. Starting to get a little darker outside, so I guess... Well, I guess since I've been starting late uh, yesterday already, I had a late late night pretty much when I stop so I had a late start this morning so finally I can go for quite a while yet but I don't really want to <laughs> I hate driving at night and anyways let's keep on rolling and Hopefully we get to the next place. We have made it as far as Portage, Wisconsin. And we are done for today. Yeah, we got about uh, 1,080 kilometers to go for tomorrow. So about 675 miles to go for tomorrow. And that's it. And then we'll be in Brampton, Ontario. We'll see how much we will be pushing tomorrow, but... All right, all right. I guess the light just had to go out, obviously. Uh, well, that just happens. Anyways, I was saying, we'll see how far we will push her tomorrow. 
I don't know if we'll quite get to Toronto tomorrow. I'm really hoping I can get there tomorrow, but we'll see. We'll see. I uh, The load is scheduled to be delivered there for Friday at 10 in the morning. So which is Eastern time, so that's 9 o'clock my time. So I am suspecting that I will be delivering this load. And if that's the case, then I really don't need to push that hard tomorrow. So <laughs> we'll see. Anyways, we're calling her a night. Thank you guys for watching and uh, also I wanted to say welcome to all the new subscribers that are subscribed to me lately. We, uh, we certainly appreciate you guys because without you guys I don't think that I would still keep on making videos because if nobody is watching my videos what's the point of making videos so, <laughs> so thanks guys and girls I guess as well. Because there probably is some women out there as well watching my videos. So thank you guys for watching and have a good one. And we shall catch you on the next one. We've got to the end of this video. Hey, be sure to check out some of my social media sites. And I got the links right down there below in the description box. Hey, I got the subscribe button right there in the corner. It's nice and big for you guys to check it out. Hey, check out some of these cool videos right here. Have a good one. Catch you on the next one.